We're gonna get straight to the point, no need for any introductions, all right? Today we're comparing these two new gimbals, the Xeon Weeble Lab and the Crane 3 Lab. The first thing we're gonna be talking about is the design and size. So right off the bat, yes, the Weeble Lab is a lot lighter and it's a lot smaller. The Crane 3 is, well, it's huge. <laughs> It's huge. So the thing with the design is that Xeon completely reinvented the game and they made these gimbals definitely funky looking to say the least. At first when I got these gimbals I thought that hmm, I'm not really sure about the design, I'm not really sure if I like it or not, but after using it for a couple of months I can definitely tell you that this is something else. Compared to all the rest of the gimbals, these underslung modes Man, they're just killer. They're something I want on every single gimbal right now. One more thing I really, really appreciate on the gimbals right now are these quick release systems. For example, if I wanna quickly switch from the uh, Weeble Lab to a tripod, all I gotta do is unscrew like this little thing, click this one little button and that's it, it's off. And if I wanna again put it on the gimbal, I just put it on, that's it, boom. So when it comes to the size, if you're looking for something small, something well portable, I guess Weebill is gonna be the gimbal for you because as you can see the Crane 3 is a lot bigger. But when it comes to design wise, as in how it looks, both of these pretty much look the same kinda. It, it just looks like this is the oldest brother and this is the youngest brother pretty much, yeah. Like you said before, all gimbals pretty much do the same thing, they look the yeah. same, so this is finally something different. And yeah, when we received these, we are like, whoa, I'm not too sure. And it definitely takes some getting used to because it's the grip is new, you have like the weight and the wall has to be a little different, you use them in like completely different ways, but it turned out to be effective and uh, super convenient. Let's talk about the battery life. Battery life, oh, I think when it comes to gimbals, especially the gimbals that Xeon makes, and battery life, I pretty much never worry about charging these things up, do yeah. you? I think no. they, they last like a lifetime, seriously. Like uh, this is advertised for 12 hours and yeah. this is like 18, but it shouldn't be a deal breaker for you because uh, 12 hours, that's still a lot. So six hours is not really a huge difference. You can shoot a lot with this thing. Yeah. And it's pretty much with all gimbals Zion makes. You never worry about the battery life, it's just great. Especially if you're using this in warm weather, like seriously, it never runs out. But in cold, yeah, we know that in cold the batteries uh, run out rather quickly. But the thing is, we were filming drifting for the whole day, like more than eight hours, like eight hours, I think, yeah. And we were using both of these gimbals. Even though this is 12 hours, it pretty much only like uh, ran out three bars or something after eight hours of heavy usage and this one only ran out like half. So yeah, even in cold, both of these gimbals do a very great job and you will not have to worry about extra batteries. Always take caution and always bring extra batteries, even when you think you won't need them. I think just make sure you stabilize the gimbal correctly because if you don't do it, the batteries drain a little quick, especially on the Weeble Lab here. I think yeah. we experienced that once when it's just suddenly we're using it, we're using it, and, oh, the battery's pretty much dead because we did something wrong. I don't remember surely, but yeah, make sure you balance it right. Remember how we tried to stabilize the Black Magic Earth? Oh, so, man. Here, here's a little clip, and bear in mind, since we couldn't balance it properly, once we turned it on, the battery went from 100 to zero in like. 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, but keep in mind that camera yeah. weighs, it's like a brick. How much it weighs? I don't know. Like but... 5 kilograms or something? <laughs> yeah. Way more than this shit. Yeah. But yeah, it's crazy. A thing we've noticed online is that a lot of people complain that the Weeble Lab is a little bit shaky, especially if you do a lot of fast movement, running, jumping, I don't know. So we kind of want to tell you our experience and the difference between the Weeble Lab and the Crane 3. So I'll begin with the Weeble Lab. Yes, you're right. You cannot run with this gimbal very quickly because if you're going to be doing this, it's, you're going to notice little nods here and there. But this gimbal is its not meant for you to run full speed and just go like a maniac, whip left and right. You gotta be, well, careful with the movements. You still gotta do the ninja walk whether you like it or not. And when you kind of get used to it, even then here and there you can see these little nods, but that's not really a problem because come on, look at the size of this thing. 
When it comes to the Crane 3, it's a lot smoother. Yes, it is a lot smoother. Uh, I was actually running with this gimbal when filming drifting and I never noticed any nods. Yeah, when it comes to stability, Crane 3 definitely does a better job and that is why this is actually a more reliable gimbal in my opinion and this is exactly why I like it a tiny bit more than the Weeble Lab. All right, so the point we often bring up when talking about gimbals is the portability and mobility, one of the most important factors about this. I'm gonna start with the Weeble Lab. This thing is tiny. Seriously, if you take this tripod off, and the camera probably looks a little big, but without the camera, it, it pretty much can fit in a jacket pocket if it's big enough. And uh, I think this is made for traveling, for run and gun shooting, and this, I think for, a, a, well yeah, Crane 3 is bigger and will, will require a bigger bag, it's also heavier, and uh, well, but I guess these two gimbals serve two different roles. The weight that these can take is vastly different. Yeah. I'm not sure in the numbers, maybe you know that better. Uh, it's advertised, for the Weeble it's advertised that it can take up to 3 kilograms, although it's not really accurate because yeah. once I put my Sony Alpha 6500 with the microphone, it's around 1.5 kilograms and even when we set the motors to the highest strength, it's still kind of limiting. Sometimes you can feel the motors vibrating a bit, but yeah, this, this thing, is just like, a different game. <laughs> it can hold up to 4.5 Five kilograms, I think. So that's pretty. That's pretty. Sort of like Ronin S, I guess. Come, yeah, comes pretty, pretty close. A little bit more, I think. But yeah. Yeah, it's impressive. And when it comes using these things, its experience is also quite different because this is so light. You can literally because this is so light. When you go under under long mode mo with this, I can literally hold this with like one finger, and uh, the weight is like distributed perfectly with this camera at least. And it's just so smooth. One-handed movements have never been easier than this. Definitely quite easy and not painful to use. But when it comes to Crane 3, it's it's a little heavy. And uh, I guess, like I said, you gotta get used to it. But I remember the first time I used it, my hands were a little, you know, uh, getting tired a bit. The ergonomics of it are a little different too. It doesn't have an underslung mode. It's like uh, this sort of well, gun looking well, thing. Well, it pretty much is. Yeah, it is. You just don't have to switch. But this is a lot easier than with those pistol grip gimbals, which you have to kind of like, you know, hold like this. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is a lot easier. And this is why we think the design is wonderful. With the gimbals that they made before, you know, always when you want to shoot like low angles, you have to like tilt it down. It was pretty much impossible to do like one handed. You always needed yeah. two hands and you sort of can't see anything that you you're filming. It was so uncomfortable. Sometimes your yeah. wrist just broke. <laughs> Not like it's uncomfortable, you can still do it and everything. But uh, this is just different and it's just so easy. Yeah, then with this too, you can just go like well, go like that. And it's just so smooth and it feels totally different and it's just it feels fresh. Great for that. It feels really fresh. This is speaking about portability and mobility, what about portability for those who have well medium-sized bags? Yeah, I think if you buy the Weebill, you don't have to worry about space at all. And this thing is just tiny, seriously. You can you can lock the motors down, you can like get it flash to your bag, uh, flush to your bag, it's just so, so easy. Like I said, this is meant for traveling. You took it to the, uh, to yeah, the mountains like a month ago or something, Yeah, right? I took it to Slovakia and had like my Crane version 2 and I had my Weeble. Basically took two gimbals to sort of compare and uh, get to know this thing a little better. I could easily do it with one backpack. Two gimbals, cameras, everything, this is just... Oh, and you didn't great. really probably feel it in your bag as well. <laughs> not at all, yeah. not at all. This is tiny, this is great. But when it comes to this yeah. thing, <laughs> I have a huge bag. It's like a 60 liter bag, but it barely fits in there. And I think I am doing some bad things to the gimbal by trying to kind of stuff it in there because I can already see some scratches here and there, but that's completely my fault. I still think this is a lot s smaller than the Crane version, like the Crane 2. Yeah, but it's, it's like... smaller. It's... It's, it's wider, wider yeah, and you cannot, yeah. but I don't know. It's... But you can still see I can barely fit it. You, you gotta get the right angle, you know what I'm saying? Now let's talk about one of the most important things and that is the prices. Oh, let's begin with the younger brother, the Weeble Lab. So this thing comes starting from 499, I think. Uh, I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. I do not think it's worth $500, I think if it would be priced like 350, maybe maximum 400, that would be extremely reasonably priced. But right now it's a little bit too expensive, especially if you wanna get this like quick release system and some other additional accessories, it can be up to like 
700 if I'm not mistaken and well come on wait that's a little bit too much I would rather buy just this gimbal without any accessories rather than this gimbal with like tons of accessories because I'm not really a fan of that many accessories but this thing quick release system that's like the best thing ever but uh, when it comes to the Crane 3, this one starts from like, I think it was 800. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is only the gimbal itself. Once you want like those different accessories, you can go up to 1000. So this isn't really uh, that much of a budget friendly gimbal. But if you want something which is gonna run for years and which doesn't feel cheap and uh, feels kind of, you know, feels very good, feels very innovative. This is definitely the gimbal for you. But yeah, the price differences are way, well, quite huge, to be honest with you. Especially if you consider these older gimbals, such as Crane version 2 or Crane 2, you can get those for, I don't know, quite one cheap. third of the price compared to the Crane 3. For example, recently in the Latvian market, I saw that uh, one guy was selling Crane 2, which, well, when it comes to the size, it's a bit bigger than this, but it can hold up a lot of weight, almost the same as this, and the battery life is also 18 hours, and I think it cost like, they were selling it for $250. That is, woo. All right, guys, but the final question is, what are these gimbals for? Well, they each have pretty much a different application for it, but straight away, I can say that I'm very much in love with the Wii build. You like the Wii build more than the Crane 3, yeah? I like it a lot, yeah. because I'm all about uh, the portability. Yeah, I'm going for that portability. I, I prefer it like over anything, seriously. It's the most important thing for me, and if this can provide even more function than my, than my Crane version 2 at the moment, I don't really care that it's 500 bucks. I'm ready to like uh, buy this with my own money. I think it's worth it. If you're traveling, I think you cannot beat this. Like, I don't think there's anything better than this on the market. But uh, but yeah, Crane 3 is just for different purposes, I think. And this is a, a really good example because he likes the Wii build more and I like the Crane 3 yeah. more. And let me tell you why I like this one more. Yes, I cannot perfectly fit it in my bag. Yes, I cannot put this in my girlfriend's purse. Yes, I understand that, but at the same time, I just love the solidness of this thing. I love it when you hold it in your hands. It doesn't feel cheap, it feels like a proper tool. This thing, yes, it's amazing, but when I hold that compared to this one in my hands, I don't know, I don't know it just feels like something I would use for little funky, fun projects. But this one, yeah, like the stability of this one, the way how it feels, the way how it looks, like. You go in a room with this thing and everyone's gonna be like, bruh, that guy is serious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, overall- Size, size matters, size matters. <laughs> so overall, I think if you're filming music videos, if you're filming some kind of sports events, if you're filming short films or maybe commercial work, real estate, I would definitely recommend you the Crane 3. If you're a traveler and the space is crucial for you, just like Rainy said, this is gonna be your bitch. Yeah. yeah, but that's about it. Hopefully you really enjoy this comparison and well also hopefully you have made up your mind which is gonna be the gimbal for you. If you have any questions, let us know in the description and do you have anything to say? Peace out!